But uh, don't worry, uh, I cut the the new hour, so uh, that's okay. If you when you have to leave, you have to leave. So I understand. Wow, the chat is actually really small if I do it this way. Can I not resize this? Can you resize the, um, on the multi-stream, yeah? Yeah, multi-stream. You... Terribly sorry. Uh, let me get you the, the different one. Um, see, where it's just you and I. Well, I got the one with just you and I, but I'm trying to... Like, here, let me screenshot this and show you what I have to work with. Like, because of my monitors, uh, I'm using it on my second monitor is a lot smaller. Mm hmm. I might have to just uh, pop out chats instead. Here, look. See how small oh, the chats wow. are? Oh, wow. That's like. That only leaves you enough room for a single message. Exactly. It's like, yeah, this is not uh, helpful. <laughs> I'm truly sorry that that happened to you. Um, yeah, if you want to, um, yeah, you could pop out chat and yeah. then just worry about mine uh, as a single line. So that way, um, if, if you prefer to do that or, um, or not, I mean, it's entirely up to you on how you want to actually view, uh, view the chats. Where is the pop out chat button? Hi chat? I don't want to hide. Ch I want to. Really? I have to go to the individual website on its own to do it? Okay, hang on. Well, my other machine is acting funky. So. You ever seen what happens to a toe when you try not to step on a cat? Mm, no. It goes blue, and then purple, and then yellow, and then blue again! That's what my toe been doing the last two days. And I decided to be a good person and not step on my cat. Well, uh, I'm oh. sure Nene would appreciate you not stepping on any of the cats, so... Uh, bloody asshole. Made me fall down the stairs. Oh, I'll look this way. Game server connection failures. Uh, join game. Can I do a join game? Yep, yeah, you can rejoin me. It's oh, set yeah, up for friends only, so you can easily join me without other people jumping in, so... Uh, so controls. Uh, basically, yeah. uh... Unplug the controller, otherwise it thinks I'm playing with a controller. Oh, okay, if you want to play with a controller, I think you can play with a controller. That's, I believe that's configured. Yeah, but I, hear, I heard it's more different, uh, more difficult. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Okay, so what's the point of this game? Get stuck in the mud. <laughs> well, actually, attempt to move logs from A to B. And then uh, to pull up the map, it's actually uh, F1. And mouse is actually used to, uh, to rotate the cameras in the correct directions. And I just realized that uh, we are 
not where I thought we would be. Um, but moving on. Uh, don't you normally start like in the other corner? I believe so. Yes. Okay. But uh, but yeah. So one of us uh, would probably want to go through and up. undo the uh, cloaking, and while the other one attempts to unlock the garage, would probably be the best recommendation. Um, and then once we get the okay. other garage. We Where's the other garage? Top right. Yes. Okay, right, I'll try and I'll try and get over there. Okay, I will. Uh, I'll try and bring supplies as well for the garage as well, since it takes uh, four garage points. So. Um. Why am I not driving anymore? Hello. Oh, yeah. Okay, there we go. Try and not drown. Uh. Well, is there a reason why you should drive a diff lock on the entire time? Um, it does more fuel consumption. Four-wheel drive, I guess. Yeah, four-wheel drive. Can but tends to do that too. Okay, so I'll just use it when I get stuck. Then. So you want to enable those when you do happen to get stuck. The camera is a bit weird to control. Holy crap! So what does? Biff lock do exactly? It uh, basically what it does is it uh, keeps all the wheels uh, turning at the exact same time, no matter what's touching the ground or not. If it's not, then it only goes with whatever happens to be touching something. It's like driving through mashed potatoes. What happens if I run out of fuel? Yeah, I can, I can save you. It's just I'd have to get a fuel cistern truck out to you. Uh, let's, do, let's do this way. We do not reset vehicles. Whatever happens, not reset them. Okay. Uh, then hold on here. I'm actually going to pull up my map and actually stop the fuel depot then. Probably should do that too. Is there another one or is that the only fuel depot? It's the only one I'm aware of. Um, there might be some more hidden behind the cloaks. Um, I need to go left. I think. Wow, come on. I'm just gonna through. Okay, well if you're plowing on through, I'm still bringing spare equipment supplies uh, for the garage points, so uh, that way we can get that taken care of too. Oh, we have to bring spare supplies to the Yep. Oh, okay, so I have to... Oh, I didn't bring that. So I guess I'm starting back? Yeah, if you want to drive back, you can grab the fuel cistern instead. Okay, I'm going back. I think I'm going the right way. 
I have absolutely no idea. Oh, uh, you can still pull up uh, F1 and it'll point you in the right directions. Yep, I uh, I got equipment. Yeah, I got equipment on me to actually repair damage. So I actually have a spare tire, a couple spare tires, and equipment. Just for for damage. Ah, okay. So yeah, not that much at all. I think I'm not on the track anymore. I'm supposed to go like in a forest. Yeah, that's a tree. Oh, I'm at the fuel depot. Oh, well, that's that's actually pretty handy. Yeah, go ahead and top off your truck then while you're there. How do I do that? I just drive up to it and then it'll instantly top you off. Okay, and now what? Now I go towards where we started. Yep. And then uh, that should get you taken care of. Uh, basically, the menu system actually gives you the equipment uh, options that you need to uh, select what's, uh, what to put on the truck. But I have to be at the start point for that, so let's go Yeah, there. you can quick travel back to a garage if you want to. No, no quick traveling. Okay, alright. Am I supposed to go to this lake? Mmm, I wouldn't advise it, but, uh... My path went straight into it, so... I'm just following the path. Well, you have, to, you have to place your own paths, technically, so... Found him at dangerous water level. <laughs> just blow through it, go ahead and get to it. Four wheel drive. Uh... How do I use my wing? Uh, press V and then select. Yep, and then press and hold F to activate the winch. I pulled myself out. There we go, I'm safe. See, all good. <laughs> I wish we could. Oh man, I wish we could. Well, apparently going from the fuel back to the starting point was a lot faster than getting to the fuel. Oh, well that's good to know. Because I've already... Well, I, going to the fuel I went around the water. Coming from the fuel, I just went through the water. Well, good, because uh, that'll mean that uh, when you get a fuel cistern on the uh, on the back of that truck, it'll come in handy. Okay, so how does that do things? Okay, okay so you drop down menu. Fuel cistern. Uh, how do I? Just do double click on it, and it installs it. You may have to remove the spare tire. Uh, garage parts. No. Spare tire. Okay. Nope. Nope. Not available. Not on this truck, I guess. No, no, you have to remove certain pieces of equipment. You probably actually have a trailer hitch somewhere installed on that. Uh, trailer hitch... Nope, I have nothing installed, according to this thing. The 
can put a carriage parts on it, but that's it. Can't put a fuel thing on it. There's a fuel truck here, an orange one. Yeah, I don't think that'll be able to just reverse. Yeah, no, I can't uh, put a thing on left. We might have to find the other trucks. Oh, uh, yep, yeah, let's go. We got the B130. Uh, yep, I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna go get the B130. Can I not to the waypoint? No? Okay. Okay, should I install something else then? Yeah, um, you can install a, um, a supply option uh, that will actually sometimes contain a uh, fuel cistern in it. The, the utility trailer? Yeah. Oh no, that's actually a trailer I'm pulling. Do I want to pull a trailer with me? You can, if you want to. Uh, it's entirely up to you. I'm okay. currently pulling one. Okay, I got a clean. This worked. Now we don't want a clean. Okay, so. Utility trailer. Fuel capacity and repair points. Okay. Well, I'm stuck. Because I went completely oh God, off the track. Well, this is going to be problematic. I'm already taking damage. Why is it a double hinged thing? You're cheating! What do you mean? I just quickly traveled back with this different truck. Don't quit traveling, tow it! That's what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get another truck. I think I'm stuck in a uh -huh. muddy four wheel drive. Come on, truck, you can do it! Yeah, he doesn't like pulling this trailer at all through this mud. Can I install a better engine? Uh, basically the only engine that you got is the only engine you can work with. So, anyways. Yeah, it's not helping that I have to down the weeds and drag it behind me. I got a fuel cistern truck that I'm sending out to actually act as a tow truck now. How 
Why did I not lose my exhaustion point yet? Not really. All right, here we go. I got to the fuel depot. Yeah, press V and you can swap uh, at the location. Alright, this one doesn't have four wheel drive. Ooh, that might be problematic. Okay, yeah, let's. This is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna try and throw this truck behind my other truck going towards uh, the second carriage. Yep, which is what I'm about ready to do with the truck that you're supposed to use to actually tow other trucks. We have a tow truck? Well, the proverbial truck. Back to the garage, or should I try and go to the new garage? Try and make it to the new garage if you got the garage points. Okay, well, I'm dragging an old truck behind me, so I don't really know the way. Yeah, neither do I. That's the reason why I started heading out, because you said that you were heading out, so... I'm a road train! Oh, that's one dodgy branch. Let's 
Come on, truck, you can do it. I believe in you. My wheels are pretty much submerged in mud. No, did it stop pulling? Ah, oh, come on, why did it stop the winch? There. There we go. All right, now I got it out of my pickle, and I just realized you and I are not even in the two same areas right now. <laughs> but hey, at least uh, hopefully you'll find a, a mappable track that we can actually use for a route. As for me, I just have the equipment. I just need to find a route to it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take a right here. Uh, we'll see if that goes. How that goes. Oh, this is a rocky road, that's good. Means it's not mud. And my road stopped here. Okay. Now what? Guess I'll go towards a block point. Yep, if you go to a cloak point, it actually helps reveal more of the map, so... in the middle of a bloody yeah yeah see if you can uh, head um i actually no road here there's no cardinal directions either yeah there is bottom left of your map oh right uh do you think you probably head north straight north uh close to close enough to straight north to get that one cloak because it looks like there's plenty of uh, larger areas there too okay, am i heading in the right direction or not you're heading northeast. Now that's Found north. It. Yep, that's north. Do I still have my trailer and my truck behind me? Yes, I do. My truck is a, looks like it's about to blow up. The one I'm dragging behind, but eh. Ooh, that's water. You can always use another vehicle to help get you out. I'm already dragging a trailer and a vehicle behind me. Yeah, you're wasting a lot of fuel if you do that. Just saying. But you said to bring the truck with me, so I did. Uh, no, I, I was meaning bringing a uh, one truck, and that way uh, it could get you unstuck once you got stuck, or make sure you have a second truck to actually help you out with that. But what it's going to do is it's going to start up the engine and drive both of them at the same time, wasting all that fuel between the both of them. Like, for example, right now... Well, I, I know, I'm just saying it depends, because, uh, I mean, if, you, if you're not hauling it... No, no, that's for the one truck. The other truck is also burning fuel, too, running the engine. Okay. Well, I'm 
going to the garrison point, so it's going to be a bit skilled there anyway. I think I'm going north anymore. I think I'm going east-ish. Well, I can't exactly stop to check the map right now because I'm trying to get unstuck from the motor right now. But it's fun. It's fun. It is, but uh, relative motion. Plus, I I pretty much have a um, a caravan going on right now. No, I got an actual trailer uh, attachment that I'm trying to get through with. I got a trailer attachment as well, and a truck behind that. Alright, so I'm at the edge of the cloak already. I'm looking for you. Yeah, you went north, then you went east, then you went straight south. Well, there's a big ass forest here that I sort of went on the edge. Oh, yeah, so. no, no, it's, it's okay. Um, here, try this. Uh, go straight west. Or if you want to, you can actually head straight to the objective and unlock the cloak there in those areas. Because if you're trying to find another fuel point, uh, if we unlock all these cloaks, we'll initially find another fuel spot. As for me, I got to finish mapping out a possible route to the garage. I'm just hoping I can make my way through. I think I found a... No, no, that's not right. Alright. No, no, it's okay. I'm excited. I thought I finally found a road again. I think I might have stuck in between the trees here. That might be problematic. You can actually unhit, uh, unhitch it and then winch it back to you. No, no, you said that you have another truck with you, right? Yeah. Winch it around the tree. Have you seen where I'm at? Uh, not yet.
Well, I can't really fast travel to your location um, because uh, the trucks that are assigned to me are back at the garage or someplace else. So. Uh, that's why. I think I might have got it free. But I did manage to get the cloak that I was asking you to go to, so. Uh, there's at least a bonus. So, yay! Teamwork! Is it a bonus, though? More mud to get stuck in. Uh, perhaps we should have gone with... Bad idea. Perhaps, yeah, we should have gone with jeeps or smaller vehicles. And then just went through and did all the cloaks and then tossed them off to the side. No, I mean, like, it's a bad idea that I went this way. That's okay. Hindsight's always twenty twenty. Besides, you're doing fabulous. No, I'm stuck. Hang on, if I winch that to here... Oops, I just cleared that. Oh, can you just get from behind that tree, please? That was so uh, helpful. Can I... Can I push you with this one? No, can I winch you somehow, somewhere? I think I might be doing it. Woohoo! Maybe. Let's, we'll see. Let's see. Walk the mag up, and go! Nope. Uh, went to that three. Bench me in. Oh, yes. Look at that. I made it to different mud. Well, mud without trees, which might make it easier. Am I too far now to swap vehicles? No, you can always swap to them. All you gotta yeah, do is press F1 and then you can actually click on it to quick travel to it. Okay. Simply because that's the way the game's designed, because you're gonna continuously get stuck in the mud and you gotta find a way to get through it. So, you're always well, gonna be out of range. I was thinking of only like swapping between the trucks I was next to. Yeah, that's never gonna happen. Especially in this that's game. Why I was bringing this truck. Yeah, that's that is never gonna happen. This is how stuck this truck is. I went to the trailer on my other truck, and mm -hmm. I'm literally pulling the trailer plus the other truck out of that mud. And that, the blue truck is still like, nah, I'm, I'm gonna sit here. See you guys later. Have a good evening. Alright, here we go. Found another trail. Hopefully, this will lead me to the garage. I'm hoping. 
switch back to my C430. Yep, you'll need to use the spare tire on your equipment in order to repair the engine. close to the garage right now. I've played this game once, if I remember there's a massive lift there, isn't there? Uh, I selected the uh, this map and I this is the first time I've ever seen any of this. Oh, there's different maps now? Oh, when I played there was only one map. Yeah, same here. And finally... Alright, because this is the planes. Yeah, I like I said, first bet would be to try and go get the garage, so that way we have a station point. trying to find something to eat right now just to have as a victory snack right now and I all I can find is a, a chocolate bar and it's like a snack size a fun size I might need you to go and rescue me okay Leave my trailer behind them and go to the closing point. Because I'm not taking my trailer between trees.
No, I lost my car. Damn it. Reverse. No, 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 don't. Just keep going. My Here's. Car. The other car was a bit to have, and the other car was dragging with me like the entire time. Like I said, I had a caravan going, a road train. Alright, I need you to quick travel into the uh, into the car so that way I can repair it. I'm actually trying to repair it right now. There you go. Oh, yeah, I don't think this truck can get out of here. Maybe? No. This truck does not have the power to get through this pool. Don't worry. Oh, wait. Maybe? Yeah, that always seems to work. Just wiggle your wheels back and forward. Well, I do love the like the physics of the water and all. Spinning your wheels actually spins the water. On. Wait, you had the parking brake on this whole time? <laughs> no, it doesn't seem to make a difference if I had a parking brake on or not. This truck sucks. Um, might have a problem. What? Uh, just a smallish problem. Yeah, this isn't good. But you didn't make a way. How do you do that? That's what I have to do. You said you could. Yeah, you just click on the map to make your waypoints. Press F1, then you click, and it puts the waypoint uh, wherever you want to go, but for you to actually, it's just going to do a direct route waypoint, rather than actually doing, you know, routing around the actual map, so if you want to actually follow the road, you have to tell it that you want to follow the road. I'll have to wait till I'm out of the mud. I'm trying to bring the most important vehicle right now, the fuel. Never mind, I'm stuck. 
Alright. No, you already called for help. You already called for help. I'm trying to come out. I tried to I tried to save myself for the range, but it might have been worse. Did I make it worse? Yep. Still here. Apparently, if you're on your side, you can use your winch. Because you stalled the engine. Ah, eh, fuck it. We're just gonna drive. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Hey, that's bullshit. I can uh, freaking make my engine run if I'm upside down in my car. Nothing happened to me, Willow. It's just a shitty truck that refuses to drive too much. I'm just kind of a bit confused as to why you're actually trying to tour with that thing when we already know that's kind of a lost cause right now. I guess I want to bring it back to the garage. I didn't want to leave it in the fields. You can quick travel it back to the garage. Nope. Refuse to do that. More fun this way. Can't you like winch me in the middle of my car and just me over? Nope. Can't do it. Uh, if you're from there, you can winch at the back, you might be able to pull me over if you pull. Uh, it won't exactly work because all it's going to do is it's going to try and pull your backside towards me, so my only option is to have your back rear tires actually dig into something. So, do you happen to have an engine running right now? No, I can't stop the engine. Oh, oh, oh! Ah. I'm all I'm back at my fair, so I can just pull it to the middle of the truck. I prefer playing like this, where you just don't use anything, like fast travel or anything. I'm the same like on the uh, Euro truck and all. As for me, I'm trying to bring the fuel, so... Not off the top of my head, no, I do not.
Well, I made it to the garage. Good. Now you can actually repair your trucks, put the right equipment on, remove unwanted equipment. Uh, basically, for the current truck that you had, you actually have to add a um, fire safety exhaust to the front of the truck. Hey Willow, sorry for the long delay. Yeah, it is a very strange physics engine, yes, Willow. Thank you very much for the question. Um, there's That's all you really need to do is just check to make sure what equipment's installed that's keeping you from installing it, and then uninstall that just in order to add in the, uh, the fuel truck's uh, equipment. Fuel system? Yep. Well, I've already done. I'm already trying to do the the legwork right now. I'm actually delivering fuel to that garage right now, as we speak. Why do you see what you have to do? Because I don't. Do you stuff or no, no. On there, it tells you, stating that there, if there's equipment that you can't use in order to actually apply a fuel system which will actually allow us to actually transport uh, fuel halfway across the map to resupply the truck. That's what's desperately needed. Like, I already have the option to restore and repair equipment uh, with the truck that I brought out, uh, and then I actually it's applied. Okie dokie. Uh, let me try this then. Um, no, what? I it's all the actual objectives in this game, and how or where do you see them? Not I have to do this. Yeah. Just yeah, no, no. Look at look at the map. Okay, do you see the objective on the map? Minus objective, deliver zero out of eight. Yep. Zero uh, out of eight what? Out of uh, the logs at the uh, at the lumber mill, which were the Type C five five two truck is supposed to be. We have to actually deliver lumber from there to the objective point. And so our midway point is going to be the garage uh, that uh, I was trying to say that we need to get to that you're currently at right now. So for us to actually uh, reach there, we have to have all the equipment at that garage so that, that way we can make it to our objective point, which is supposed to be just a straight drive uh, to that objective point, hopefully. Now, you've already been to the objective point, or you've actually uncloaked the objective point area, so it makes it a little bit easier for us to actually make it there. And in order to get there, we need to have the fuel trucks along the way. Uh, I'm assuming the E7310 I'll go see what the C E7310 is. Did Croc notice you first uh, in my chat? Possibly. Yep, I did say hi. Yep, so my mistake. I've been focused on trying to traverse this mud. Sorry, Willow. We'll put it up to hunger confusion. So I need to get my truck, fill it up with fuel, and place it somewhere along the road. So mm -hmm. That's exactly right. Hey, Octo. You enjoy your lurk.
Oh, there it is. Is it a teeny truck or is it one of these heavy duty big boys? Uh, again, I'll see if I can do the two agencies or something like Oh, I think it's a big ass truck. Oh, yeah, it is. That was a heavy duty truck for me. Perfect. Once we get back to the garage, I'd probably recommend putting a, uh, a log carrier on it. Well, I'm gonna... Uh, well, you can, you can use it for whatever you want. Yeah, I'll... Now I'll drive the fuel truck behind it. And then, uh, I'll... But if you need fuel, I'm driving over right now to help refuel. Uh, I was... I also was making my fuel get fuel in it. What am I stuck on? Seriously. Really, this stinking tree is stopping me. <laughs> oh. Look at it! This is post. the pride and joy. Alright, hold on. Look at me! <laughs> hold on! Can I not winch with this? Oh, I need to stop my engine first. I was actually going to try from a different angle to help get you unstuck. I think I broke the tree and start with this truck. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that does. I do not, do not have fuel in this one, though. Yep, which is the reason why I brought the truck. Uh, I can't see you. Oh, there you are. Wow, the fuel truck is damaged. Oh, this one is bad either. I'll just drive back to the uh, thingy for now. Hold on, where are you going? I'm, I'm trying to trying to get you fuel. I got anti aid fuel. There you go, that's the last of all the fuel I currently got. Now I gotta traverse back to the fuel depot. I'm gonna come with you. I'll leave the big one here for now. Uh, well, Fabulous uh, idea. Yeah, uh, let's go on a road trip. You lead, and I'll follow. But this is still close now. Are you turning around? Yep, we're turning around. Well, wait, hold on. Is there a hidden point somewhere nearby? Yeah, I think if we go straight north, follow that path east, we might hit it. Good. Let's actually, yeah, let's just go right through the woods. Go straight for that cloak point. Because then we'll probably run across a river that will also put us up along a C650 or. 6522, two, which should give us uh, some lumber as well, um, it, if we happen to need to go on that route. But uh, there's a, a road to the south that we want to get on that will take us right to the fuel depot. Uh, I'm 
amazed into the roads that was talking about. There you go. You found it? Yeah, I finally got to the cloak. Okay, there we go. Now, we just need to go further south. So it's a fuel. Let's see, I'm just gonna follow this river, I think. Sorry, uh, hold on, I can barely hear you sometimes uh, when I'm revving the engine through the mud. What? Do we buy the trailer or is it at the delivery point? The trailer you have to get at the garage. Okay, so we have to take a big trip to the garage first and then... Yeah, where we can just do medium-sized logs between the two of us and then both of us deliver to the objective point at the same time.
Okay, there we go. There we are. Now traversing through some mud. I'll admit I'm a little bit jealous that you're further along than me. I might have to look up the map, guys. Gotta take that into account, so... Damn it, I just tr I just fucking flipped the truck. Hang on, I'm on my way, Dad. Alright, well, let me know when you're... Quickly blowing the roots. Yeah, that's the worst spot over there. I got almost the stuff there as well. Well, then that's just a that third, like a small passageway. Yeah, it's just right before the uh, passageway. I don't believe you're at the right angle, personally. No, I just want to get you out of it because I can't go over there, so... Uh, this might be bad, because I'm... Hang on. Just a second, let me get on the grass over there so I can get traction. And I might be a better angle as well. Yeah, there we go. Hey, Zach, welcome to the stream. Wait, Zach, aren't you supposed to be working right now? Tell me when you're up again, or what I'm There we go, I'm up. You, so. I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. Thank you. I might have dug myself in here. Oh no, not okay. I'll let you pass first. Yeah, this is a really bloody spot here.
The downside is this game is a lot easier multiplayer than it is solo. That's the reason why people will always jump at the chance to in order to join you. Chosen! Welcome to the stream! I think this is the first time I've ever seen you in my channel. Welcome. I'll uh, refuel and I'll head back your direction. Uh, when you get take that turn, don't go straight into the triangle around. Like go over the mud and then turn on the sandbank. Like the little sandbank looking. Or you just get fucked in the dirt. I'm waiting until I traverse the mud to check the map one more time. getting there. I'm still amazed that you're able to traverse this mud a lot better than me. A lot of zigzagging. Now whenever I think I'm about to get stuck, I just sharply turn my wheels. Uh, for me, it's just I turn on all wheel and differential lock at the same time. Uh, I do have no stopping uh, that. These quick uh, wind miles. Yeah, yeah. Um, actually, it's going pretty good, Susan. Uh, just uh, hoping to be able to continue on with the uh, spin tires uh, all the way throughout the evening. Now. Uh, Don Fear here is a fellow buddy of mine from some of the other communities I run with as well. Um, very nice individual. Right. Am I? I don't know. <laughs> He's a pure gem to play with every once in a while. He has those moments. Yeah, if you ask me, Nate, he'll say no. Now, now, Nene loves all. She showed you lots of love by joining both of our channels at the same time and chatting mostly in yours when you had that uh, tablet issue, remember? Uh, okay, I think. I think it's mostly fixed now. Alright, now I need to map out where I'm going again. <laughs> well, you follow the road to where you were flipped, and you take a left and you follow that road. Yeah, I'm talking about trying to get to that intersection. I, I remember it quite well. I mean, I had plenty of time to ponder it. After all, I could have made a pond there. But, uh, but no, Shusen, uh, it turns out that a couple other folks, uh, happen to have this game as well, so this is actually a very, it's still apparently a popular game for a lot of folks, uh, for mud and enthusiasts, although driving in it, uh, kind of makes you feel like you're driving through mashed potatoes. Once we get back to the garage, I'm adding more uh, equipment onto this thing to repair it. Yeah, mine's like half broken. Well, I'm at 410, so... Chujin, thank you very much for the follow! If Hijinx was in chat, I'm sure he'd be more than happy to give you your bonus points. But here, since it's just me, give me a quick second here. Can't you make Nightball Tricker, um, thank you for the follow message? Uh, it's... message to say thank you for the follow and then the player's name? It sometimes doesn't work. I'm in a bad, bad spot. 
Then quit being a bad, bad boy. <laughs> don't worry, I'm trying to traverse as quick as I can, so... Now, this game probably would be a lot easier if we just had a third a person to do a, uh, a mud and checker. Like somebody to right, check to make sure. Okay, a lot of butt clenching, a lot of butt clenching. Whew, boy, my glutes. Don't know if I'm ever gonna make these muds. Oh, that would be handy to know. Well, you're lucky. I was trying to find my way back to the garage with my truck while it was almost, uh, it only had like 20 points of health left on it. Well, fuck me. I broke the truck I was using to go and rescue the other truck. Now I have six kinds of friends. Um, what about the, um, the little blue truck? You could always put that in with a, uh, with a utility uh, bed on it. And then drive it up to the larger one to repair it. Every vehicle is worthy of something. Every vehicle is worth something. Alright, let's go. Let's see if we can save them all. Oh, this might be a challenge. This one. <laughs> hey, think of it as trying to tow a 18-wheeler uh, with a uh, one-ton. At least you'll be able to traverse the uh, the uh, the woods a lot easier. Well, it's not really in the woods, you know. Just before the garage, you have like that path going left, and then right, you have sort of like a beam. Well, it looks might be in the repeater. Yeah, okay, let's take a look here and take a look at the fires. Let's make a fire station of this. Uh, F12. Yeah. I'll I'll just wait here so you can take a look at my screen. Well, at my screen when you're not dying in the boat, and you can see what I've done. 
Well, I see what you did with the attachment. So you actually have a little cistern on that as well. So you could actually uh, refuel, swap fuel truck uh, tank uh, fuel into that little uh, doodad there too. Yeah, do you see the fuel trucks in the distance? No, it's, uh, the, uh, it's too small for me to be able to see it. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Shujin. Towing, uh, actually, here, Shujin, I'm terribly sorry. Did I remember to spam his uh, multi stream link here? Hey, I can come and watch my beauty when I've done. It's there you beautiful. Go. Oh wait, that's where you're at. Okay. Uh, yeah, that looks like a pretty rocky path there. Yeah. So actually, you can uh, if you you know the cross section where you are, take a right, and then the next cross section before going into the ravine, take a left. You have a nice path there to drive. Hmm. Well, I was planning to try and go straight up uh, because there's a little bit of a wooded path uh, that you can actually do, so... But, okay. Actually, here, let me just do this. Hey, I'll try and come over there and I'll show you. Yeah, oh, the, the, uh, the chains of the tires definitely help quite a bit. Here, I'm just grabbing my utility truck. I'm just going to drive it on over there to repair all the vehicles. No, I'm coming. I'm on my way. Good, because I almost uh, wrecked my vehicle. I'm on my way to you. Well, never mind. <laughs> I was just about ready to stop the truck. Oh, wait, wait, no, no, I can see it. Great, I just wrecked mine. Wow, you actually flipped your crap. Okay, I'm at the uh, s Yeah, I, I see the way you park things. Alright, side. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, in order for me to actually uh, hook onto them, I could probably flip one of them because you're just near the stones enough to be able to have it flipped. Uh, it's the uh, C4 uh, 320. Come on, get over the rock. You can do it. Or not. I'll just uh, sit here and watch. Uh, how does this make sense? Look at this. What? Because it starts up the engine. But I can't. Engine is broken. I literally can't pull it in. And I Austin powered this one on top of a rock. Look. Okay, and I just... Utility... Uh, I'm aware, that but one. the one that's actually flipped over... I'm ready to try and help you with that one. Where I'm at is actually the best location for it. Okay. Can you winch me from there? Should be able to. Well, go oh! Ahead. Just... just barely. I'll just push it with the old one then. There we go. Am I Driving into something? I'm driving up a hill.
Here, I just repaired your crap. <laughs> if you want the uh, C4320 engine repaired, uh, you might as well go ahead and jump into it and I'll use the last of my uh, repair points. Uh, I don't think the engine is much damage on that one. We'll see. Well, let's, yeah. There you go. This rocky place wasn't the best place to go. other wheels on this one. That's more traction. Well, let me take this one right here. Fun in the mud needs to end. Ah, heck with it. There we go. Did you cheat it? I saw you do it. You saw nothing. Nothing, I tell you. Oh wait, I was going to use this truck to repair another truck. Uh, let's see here. Okay, good. It's already fully repaired. I just need to find it on the map where I parked it. <laughs> I just need that little car locator app, then that way I can find my old vehicles. Isn't that the hard question everyone always asks one another? Ready to punch you. I'm sorry, what was that? Exactly. No, I'm serious, I couldn't hear you over all the crackling engine noise.
Now we're going to tow a vehicle that's much larger than the other one out. Mean How did you make it before me? Because yeah. I was already at the bottom of that hill. How do I repair it? You just drive it into the spot and then park it and then let it sit there for a while and then it repairs. Alright, so clearly that path is not meant for us with how rocky it is. No oh, repairing the thread. Oh, it is. Uh, we need to refuel it now. Guess I'll have to jump at the other truck for that. Now I need to go oh. grab my other fuel truck. Ah, time consuming. So where do we get the trailer? Well, actually, if we just use the one thing, all we gotta do is just drive it to the loggers camp, and then boom, we're done. All we gotta do is just both of us carry a haul to the objective, and then we're done. I'm still trying to get the fuel truck here. Because um, oh, I'm you sure. You... The right -hand side, my blue one now on the side. Well, all I see is your name for your truck. Wow! So how it's not stalling? The engine. So let's see if I can winch it out. And I stall it. All right, there we go. So much damage. There we go. All repaired. So we need 
Fixed drive to E7. No, not to E7. Alright, there we go. Yeah, so we're taking this one and we're trying to go over there. Yep, we're taking okay. the larger ones to try and go to the loggers point. Um, oh, yep. Follow me. That uh, road's not traversable. I got stuck there. Can't even see the roads. Because there isn't one. both had the same plan to go the same on the same road to get there but we had our different ways on how to get to the road seem to want to really turn in the water here. Yay for the winch! What about a barmaid? Alright, so what we're doing is we're going straight for the lumber, not the log kiosk. What's that? Uh, well, the log kiosk is for when you happen to have a log uh, grabber arm, but uh, we don't exactly have one, so... Okay, so just a bit further up behind that then. Mm-hmm, exactly. Mm-hmm. 
well, technically it's all wheel because you're already using four. Technically. Just got water damage. Yeah, I'm doing just fine. Perfect. Should, I'd agree. But it's a good thing we found these. Well, there's actually a different version of one that you can actually get a crane arm for, I believe, and it actually allows for much longer logs. Scratch that. Wait, was it medium or fully large logs that you were able to bring? I'm uh, medium. Uh, yeah, can I anchor somewhere just to drag my front around a bit?
I can just drive my back towards you. I can come back close to the back of you so I can just rotate me physically. Sure. The cat seems to just like. You still need to do some of the work. Yeah. Thank you very much for the host. Greatly appreciate that. Hold on here. Let me get you some points there. Alright, let's see. F1. What's the best route? Going the way we came, I guess? To the garage and then straight down? Um, basically, I figured it'd probably be going to the garage first, but that would probably be our best bet. That? That's what I said. Oh, I'm sorry, it sounded like you said carriage. Truly sorry, misunderstanding. Yeah, or, or we could actually cut right through the woods here to the right. And then just follow the, uh, the narrower path. Uh, which so. Path? Well, uh, if you have, well, Follow actually, straight, uh, yeah, straight to the right there. Uh, we could try that, or we could actually go to the very end where the mud happens to end, um, and then make a r sharp right-hand turn and go for the smaller dirt roads, and then take those straight north as best as we can, as an option. So this one here. Uh, all I see is your first waypoint objective. Here, I marked mine. I'm gonna move it. Okay. But it's long I'm kind of stuck, so... Yep, that's the reason why I don't like to stop in the middle of the mud. No, no, it's not the mud. It's for some reason this bank is... Not acting like mud, but just like acting like oh, like you're not telling me points. Good job. I'm gonna mark now. Now, there is one thing I would like to actually do a hats off towards the developers for, is at least showing who's the actual server host for the game. That was uh, ingenious of them. Behind you. I can't see you. Oh, there you are. You don't see my little beacon lights? No. I can see them now. What, what did you see them earlier? Yeah. Well, it's good to know that we're in a convoy. Convoy, ain't she a beautiful sight? All covered in mud. So, <laughs> take a ride here. Yep. Then go straight east. So, hang on, let me mark that. Oh, that brings us straight back to where the ravine was. There we go, now I 
I can turn off the all-wheel drive. Because if I was if I was gonna do all-wheel drive there and back to the garage, it was gonna probably eat up all the fuel. I'm down to 500 fuel at the moment. I'm at 533. Well, I'm actually at so what I mean, at 540. Well, it's partly because you didn't do all wheel lock um, for your. For the first part of your journey. Uh, no, nah, that's why I got stuck a couple of times. But I gotta admit, this is uh, this is my favorite vehicle right now. <laughs> Traverse this little mini mountain. Well, I'm clearing the path, man. I'm sitting and running over trees here at the moment. Yeah, you don't really have to do that because I think I have the less, uh, the, uh, the better option for health right now. Well, if it's in the way, I can't really not go through it. I think I might have taken the wrong turn here. Uh, just slightly. You're heading back for the ravine. Yep, we just noticed when I'm stuck. Oh yeah, four-wheel drive is an option. Or all-wheel drive. Great, I just got stuck myself. <laughs> I'm gonna go stop at the garage. This way, yeah. being able to just use a winch and be like, hey look, I'm making a sharp 90 degree turn now because logic.
You want me to wait here or I'll probably otherwise we'll cross each other. Let's see. I'm actually stuck. Need help? Yeah, I'll need a tow. Wait, I may have gotten it. Did you not? No, I'm still stuck. Still stuck. Probably actually work, yeah. Okay, good, because uh, I think I may have just got it. I think I may have just oh, I barely got it. Barely got it. Yeah, but you're going to go from here. Why did you go that way? So it's all Okay, Hang on, where did you winch? Front or back? Front. Winch at the back. I think I have more traction if I go forward. I was gonna say you might want to be close enough to be able to uh, to actually uh, winch to a tree. Need to move closer. Winched when I winched. Okay, winch. Let's see if I winch. I don't, tell me if we're still. Still winch. Winch removed. No, uh, we can't do that. Okay. Uh, I'll just try and drive forward with full force while you try and winch. Are we winched? Yeah, we're just gonna try this tree over here. There we go. Alright, thank you very much for the moral support. Do you know which way to go? Not exactly. I was planning to go right through the trees that you're about ready to pass through. Yeah, it was, it was going to take a small right once I could pass through. Yeah, that would have been better if you took a uh, right earlier. And you can't fit, can you? Nope, so I'm taking that right.
Gotta love big rigs. And there we go, now we're back on the road. On the road again. Can we get on the road again? Life I live is mudding with my best friend. Oh yes, I can't wait to get back on the road again. Where's the road? <laughs> well, we're kind of ish on it, I think. There's a bridge here, so... I don't think that bridge is gonna hold us, but yeah, let's keep trying, let's keep going. I'm waiting for you to fully cross before I try and gun it. Actually, hold on, I, I should have got more fuel. That's what I did, yeah. Want me to grab the fuel truck and drive up? No, I'm yeah. grabbing my fuel truck. Good, because I don't know how much it is in mine. Probably not enough. Well, the bridge held. Yay! Progression! I guess I'll also finish repairing my uh, truck as well with the uh, spare wheel uh, on the... Uh, the truck I'm currently driving. Oh, Alright, so now with that, um, you said that the uh, bridge actually held, right? Yeah. Okay.
There's a plus and a minus side to using these things. They tear up the roads more. So close, I almost flipped the load. Good job. Almost. <laughs> almost. I'll bet you on that. Gun in it, nothing more. Nothing's holding me back except for. Wait, where the heck do I need to go? Yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going. Now it's somewhere straight there, you'll see on the sides of the road the way I went straight. Uh, technically I'm just driving through a river. Yeah, yeah. Go to the water there. And instead of following the river, go straight. And you see how the river goes a bit straight and then suddenly it takes a turn. Keep going. And you'll get on that road. And you'll be fine. Ah. Don Vier, my trusty navigator. I don't know, it seems like the path that you're trying to put me down puts me through a very high hill. Am I no, correct? No, no. no, it's not. No, it's actually quite flat, quite easy to go. I went to a gate and took that shit mud fast. Oh, oh, okay, and then here, I guess I did. went on the wrong path. Well, then. I'll put where my point is, but I turned. Can you see that? Okay, that's oh, the one I originally. Point. That's the first one I had. I I had a redrafted point that I thought you were trying to get me to go on. a little. See, that's what I meant when I went straight. I didn't really go through the water. You see the bank to your right and the bank in front of you. I crossed the water twice, but I didn't follow the water. Now, let me come over now. See if I can come. Okie dokie. Because, yeah, you do have a lighter load and I'm just digging myself in. Ah, oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. It does help to confirm which direction I need to turn. <laughs> oh, wait here. There'll be a roadblock.
There we go. Planes co-op completed. Playtime, 2 hours, 25 minutes. Wow. Time's rescued three times. Oh, it's remove all clues. Eh. At least we unlocked five of six trucks, so... I unlocked all trucks. You lucky bastard. Yeah, we missed a cloak down there. Actually, I want to go get that cloak first before I turn off. Okay. I'll just uh, sit right here. There's no cloak anymore, is it? Mm, not exactly, no. Well, right, that doesn't matter. So what's your distance traveled and times rescued? Times rescued, three. Uh, and distance traveled is 11.38 kilometers. I got 12.48 kilometers traveled and one rescue. I honestly cannot believe they counted the times I come to save your butt as my times rescued. Uh, no one said that you had to freaking quick travel back. Yeah, uh, well. Oh, we should have kept going. It's an achievement to unlo unlock all, all cloaks for that map. Oh, well. Yep. It is. Uh, and there was just the one cloak, which is actually right near the objective, too. Yeah, and already left. Wait, can I just rejoin you? Yeah, sure, you can You're rejoin. Not gonna let me. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Probably didn't look at the B one thirty. There was a blue one. All right, I'll just sit here until you're Yeah, I just got the achievement. I didn't. I don't think. Didn't pop up. But this is planes, right? Yeah, no. Yeah, it's the planes. I didn't count it. Well, at least we know one thing. It takes us two hours and thirty minutes to complete this, so... It's just, just on time, look at that, only three minutes. Yeah, three minutes over, yeah. So, anyways, uh, I'm assuming uh, that you're going to be calling it quits for the evening. Uh, I do hope you have a wonderful weekend, so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, be sure to give a major... We can do it major... Thursday again. Okay, uh, yeah, sure, I guess we could, uh, I'll, uh, I'll try and iron out the details with you later on the weekend, then. Yeah. So, but, uh, ladies and gentlemen, please go ahead and give a major, uh, how do you do, and a, at least, uh, give them a little bit of a courtesy follow, or at least, uh, a thumbs up, or notification of some sorts, to uh, let them know that, uh, you always appreciate having co-op players whenever you can find them. Um, so, anyways, uh, we'll continue on with, uh, more spin tires after a short break here, so those of you that are currently in chat, please, uh, hang tight, uh, cause I'll be right back after, uh, after I take a f care of a few things that apparently popped up during the stream, so I, I do have to shut down the stream in order to actually get it taken care of. So, thank you everyone, uh, and uh, also for those of you that are currently in my chat, uh, let me go ahead and get you your in-stream bonus points as well.
If my chats would load, I could host you. There, there you go, go, everyone. Well, I was gonna say I'm I'm shutting down the stream, but you're getting the end stream uh, bonus points as well. So, uh, I think it's gonna automatically host you again when you come back live. I think. Okay, well, I guess that works too. But anyways, uh, thank you everyone. I will uh, catch you again after uh, after I come back from a break uh, to find out what, what I just missed. So, and hopefully, uh, hopefully, y'all have a wonderful day if I do not catch you again. Good evening, everyone.